Huh? Well, good morning slash afternoon. How you doing today, darlings? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Oh, Fritz is gonna join in on the party. We're about to get a good 5K preparedness run on here in a few minutes after I clean my boots. But hey, how'd you like them CPI numbers this morning? So good. Let's talk about it. All right. So I've come back up here to run and I went ahead and did some work in my rabbit cages and I just got gross, just gross. But welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Have you been around your property? Guys, the violets this year, I really need to make some jelly. I really, really do. I, we did, we've done that and it's wonderful, but I, last year was not as good. We just didn't have, I mean, it was like, eh. This year is really great and the morels are popping. I got some more morels last night. You saw them on the video yesterday. Such a blessing. Uh, make sure, guys, I just want to say this, that you really understand when you're dealing specifically with mushrooms, that you understand what you're looking for, what to pick, etc etc okay that's a serious deal so i just want to make sure because somebody was asking me about that i'm like i i'm not i know people that are rock solid specialists um they used to teach at the conference we take cherokee together cherokee language together they're wonderful people they live down in Udawa, and um, i love them and i'm telling you, you their status of knowledge is like off the charts I'm not to that level don't pretend to be i know a few things so i stick with what i know but don't just go out and start Picking things and eating them and stuff. Don't do that. Um, I know my favorite herbalist of all times, uh, of all time ever, uh, Mr. Jim Buckenmeyer. We lost him this year. The community is devastated still. Um, but he was very good friends with the gentleman who went out and foraged and got into some stuff. And he thought he knew what he was doing. And unfortunately, he didn't. And he, he the worst of the worst happened to him. And he's no longer... He, uh, unfortunately didn't make it so it can happen to people so just understand that you need to make sure you know what you're doing and if you if you're not sure and you're not confident take note of where things are take pictures mark your spots always mark your spots if you find something that you think is something interesting or important mark it in fact you know what i'm going to do uh here today or tomorrow once this rain passes you know those little um flags i put them all in my gardens when i make rows like the little land markers can they're just a, a wire and then they've got a little flag orange to pinkish looking flag you can get like 50 of them for five bucks or something 10 bucks so I, who knows what how much they are now but you get a whole pack of them you can get them at uh, home depot okay uh and uh, they are important to have because i mark my gardens with them when i do rows so i know exactly when my where my rows are before they come up but, you know, if you've got specific spots of special things, special berries or uh, medicinal plants or mushrooms, once they go away, you'll be like, where was that? Mark those spots. It's a good, that's a good tip. I think it's a good tip. <laughs> it's coming from me, but I think it's good. But the, a good, uh, anybody that's into foraging uh, at all, they will tell you, mark your spots. So that's a good item to use. You can't miss it, right? So listen, I was, you know, being sarcastic a minute ago. I was like, aren't those numbers? How you like them numbers? Isn't that great? You guys knew this was coming today. Okay, let me get, oh, here's my mud puddle. Get this mud off here. Um, so there's a lot going on with inflation. I mean, <laughs> do you need me to tell you? No. Do you need any news outlet or article to tell you? No, you already know. Um, and I want you guys to be on fire in terms of, like I, I said this yesterday, because we were just talking about gas prices alone. So clearly gas prices are starting to just strangle us again. Rent, people, house payments, rent, taxes, insurance. I mean, it's doing, it's, you know, you might get Lux beans, you know, on sale at Ingalls for 58 cents a can. That's what I saw. I grabbed some last week. They were on sale. Uh, killer deal awesome deal grab them but when your your insurance goes up seventy dollars a month or something crazy like that 
you know, it, it, it starts catching up with everybody. But we have to know that we're doing everything that we can to offset our own personal apocalypse right now. And everybody's suffering then. Uh, you know, clearly everybody's experiencing it. You have to be absolutely a gajillionaire. It's totally disconnected. You know, riding the stock market <laughs> right now. That's about all that are. And clearly... Um, not a care in the world, um, and you don't care. Uh, the rest of us are feeling it one way or another. If it's not through feed prices, it's through hay prices. If it's not through gas prices, it's through your beanie weenie prices. If it's not for your land, you know, insurance or taxes, it's something else. And if it's not affecting you, you're watching it affect your mama, your son, your sister, whoever. And we're all in this right now. That's why it's important. Like I said, I know it's a broken record, but right when you think you're catching a break and when you do catch a break of any sort, please don't squander that. That is, that frustrates me so, and I know so many of you, I see your stories and your comments. I, I can't wrap my brain around it either. There, there's still individuals that might get a bonus or, you know, and they know things are rough and they talk about it, but yet they're taking their extra money and they're going places or, you know what, they're not even taking their extra money. They're putting it on credit cards. Guys, you know that as well as me. You know that as well as I do. I, I said this yesterday. I've hit, we've touched on this many, many times. I don't care who you are, where you are, homesteader, farmer, attorney, doctor, teacher, um, homeschool and mom, uh, welder, whatever you are, please be doing the best that you can to get your financial house specifically in order. Uh, because you're, you're, this isn't going to stop. This isn't going to stop anytime soon. And even if things change in November, uh, you, we're still riding this wave, okay? Again, we have to go back to the drawing board of there has been and there still is so much damage being done to individuals. Okay, people can't retire. I mean, what was it we were hearing yesterday? Uh, basically, yeah, when I've said this before, we have no plans on retiring. I, I, we don't. James said it many, many years ago. Uh, gave up on that idea. Just work, work, work. And I'm going to save as much as I can, do what I can, just just keep, continue on. Because the more, the more you keep pressing forth, now it feels like the grain is just coming harder against you. And I think a lot of you relate to that. And, and, and it's so frustrating for me. I get so irritated because the good people of this country and of the world are, you're just being kicked and abused and uh, pimped out and lied to. That's the worst thing is <laughs> being lied to so bad. And let me tell you right now, I know that you know this, but they're going to, especially now, because you're going to see the politics of this being flipped really hard because they have to. So now we're going to focus on issues that, you know, have nothing to do with the economy. They're going to focus on more division. Yeah. They're going to call you names, horrible names, you know, uh, speak against, I, I, I'm not even going to say the names. I, I see people saying it and it just, I'm just rebuking it. Uh, you know, if you happen to be a Christian or whatever, they say all these horrible names and things about you. Instead of focusing on actually what is happening to everybody, they have to give you all of these diversion, diversions. They have to, oh, look over here. Oh, well, we're taking, did you, did you know this right was being taken away from you? Oh, no, first of all, no, it's not. And second of all, uh, what does that have to do with the price of eggs in China? What does that matter if people can't get to work, people can't eat, people can't feed their children, and you're over here talking about this? See, that's the game that's going to be played even harder. This is why yesterday I said, and I'm being generic on purpose, but um, I'm looking for more morel mushrooms. <laughs> um, but that's the game they're going to have to play because, I mean... How many times a day do you have to be told that the economy is good? If it's so darn toot and good, why aren't we experiencing it? And I said it that way, experiencing it. Because it's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. Oh, check this out. Check this out. I do believe that's round number four. Making the, making the rounds today, so been watching that you know it is what it is but listen do you know that also you have to be looking at what are the wealthy doing what are the rich people in this country 
in any way are doing. Have you been seeing these articles and these different things? CNBC Today has come out. I heard it this morning, and I looked it up. It's April the 10th. Go to CNBC and look for it. Look at it for yourself. I'm um, talking about how the wealthy or the elites or w g people that are well off, well, they're getting real busy getting passports. Yeah, to multiple passports to other countries because of what, while the United States is such a good, great country and place to be, what about, what about the potential instability? What does that tell you? So we have to think like these people, okay? What are they doing? Well, they're getting passports to get the heck out because what the question is, why? What do they know? Where are you going? What are you doing? Why? Huh, interesting. Number two, we know they're building bunkers. That sounds kind of like a conspiracy-minded person. Huh? Huh? Well, what's up with that? If things are so great and the economy's so good and the so-called leadership is so awesome, why are you building a bunker? Just a little hillbilly asking questions. If the economy is so great and you're making so much money and things are so good and the dollar is so strong, give it that Popeye, baby. Actually, I do the pop. pop give it that Popeye right there. Um, Popeye right there. Give it that <laughs> I can't do it while holding the phone. Um, if it's so dog doggone good, why are you buying gold? Why, are why is everybody stockpiling gold like crazy? Do you really need for me or anybody to spell this out for you? No, you don't. You already know. So look at the CPI numbers. Wow, awesome. Sarcasm there. And then check out what's going on. I mean, you know, go to Zero Hedge, go to CNBC today. Just, just go through and scroll. And then, t you know, take a few minutes just to kind of get in the know of specifics. I get that. And then go... What did God, what are the, the, the brains that I have rattling around up here that, that God and Granny gave me, what can I do about it? Well, it's the same thing we talk about all the time, preparing, preparing as best you can. I will tell you this, here comes another one. I will tell you this, I'm going to say this and people don't like it. I really don't care anymore um, because let me tell you, people that you know that are wasting their money on lots of silly stuff. Man, they're going to they're gonna learn to regret that real fast. Don't be one of those people. Don't be one of those people. See, see, look. Now, that's a private jet. Okay? They've already got their passport. They're going to go like Malta or something. I don't know where they're... See? They're heading out. They've got their bunker built. Woo! They've, they've got their bunker built. They've got their bags packed. They've already stockpiled all their freeze-dried foods. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They've got a farm set up over yonder. They've got their gold and silver. They're heading out. That's right. While people that are, are just asleep are sitting around watching American Idol, playing video games, having, you know, thinking about going to the beach for a week, which I would love to be at the beach for a week right now. But no, not really. I would rather be here knowing I'm doing my due diligence. Who are you going to be like? And how is that going to fare for you? So what are the rich doing? Okay? What is their mindset? Now, I'm not, I know, I realize you and I both, I can't go out here and just build bunkers and buy gold and, and do all the things that they're, I, I get that. But you understand, I know you understand what I'm saying. What are they doing? Why are they doing it? And what does that signal for me to do? pretty important. All right, guys, I got to get this run on. If I can get all these turkeys off my driveway, I appreciate you being here. Just keep doing the things, guys. I mean, if you need to be specific, we need to do an inflation update um, at Aldi. We haven't done one in a while, and I was waiting purposely till spring around this time to do it, so maybe in the next, within the next week or so, we can do a little update. I'm a, I know egg prices have gone up. Duh. Uh, you know, I'm not worried about that, and I know most of you aren't either, but it is a staple in the in, in everybody's household one way or another, so therefore it's important to, you know, watch the prices. But with everything they're doing right now with all that uh, stuff, yeah. Oh, round number five coming right now. Well, guys, I'm going to break. Look here. You trashy birds are... Sh what, who brought this out here? Okay. 
It's like picking up after a bunch of teenagers. Like, subscribe, and share. God bless, God speed. Stay peaceful. Keep praying. Don't give up on that. What are you feeling in your heart you need to be doing? Don't stop. I love you. Have a good afternoon. See you on the next video.